Vile Gangster Jabba the Hutt is in the Dork Lair! Welcome to another Dork Lair action figure review. Today I'm taking a look at the Black Series Jabba the Hutt and it's about time. This is quite an old figure. I think it was 2014, maybe 2015, but um, this was really early in the line, one of the first deluxe figures. And I just so happened to only recently pick it up. Uh, it's been sort of on my list as I've been changing my Black Series focus more to aliens and creatures and kind of trying to focus it that way just because the line is so big, I can't collect everything. Um, and so this became one of those ones that I had never picked up. Um, you know, it's not really that easy to find for less than retail anymore. Um, but I got super lucky and a good uh, friend on... Twitter named Clown Baby was kind enough to help me out with this one. And um, he also sent me some accessories for customizing my own throne. So I may give that a shot later this summer. Um, but here's a quick spin around of Jabba himself. Um, I like this figure a lot. I'm, I'm actually like way more impressed with this thing than I thought it was going to be. I think this thing is a really cool figure. Um, it's, you know, it's a big sort of monster type figure, so it's not like a ton of articulation or any fancy bells and whistles or anything. Um, I mean, that was probably the biggest letdown is it didn't come with anything. It just comes with this. Uh, and I don't have the box because he sent it to me loose, um, but that's all it is. That's all that's in the box, I believe, is just Jabba. Um, it does have some play features, uh, so it's got a little bit of a jaw thing going on there, um, and it has a little bit of articulation. It's got some other pieces there that move around. This will be a pretty quick video because again, there's not a lot to it, but stay tuned. At the end of the video, I'm going to announce a giveaway. Uh, due to Clown Baby's generosity, I thought it would be good to, um, to kind of pay it forward a little bit. And I've got a Black Series sealed Gamorrean guard that I am going to give away in the spirit of generosity. So stay tuned at the end of the video to find out how to enter. All right, so getting a close-up of this vile gangster. You can see it's really nicely painted. There's some saliva dripping down there, all sorts of um, dry brushing and shading and different colors throughout. It gives him like a slimy look, like he's, he's got some parts that are like wet. It's kind of gross, really. Um, but coming back around to the front, you can see the eyes are very nicely detailed there. Um, they kind of have that, they're almost like insect-like or something. I mean, obviously he's a slug, so I guess, is Jumbo an insect? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, is he a reptile? I mean, he's got like, um, what do you call it? Like little suction cup type things there on the bottom. Um, but yeah, I mean, sculpting throughout is really good. Um, it's a great looking figure and obviously it doesn't do much, Jabba doesn't do much, so it wouldn't really make sense for him to be able to do that much. But I think it's really uh, quite quite a good looking version of Jabba. And then, um, so the one thing I had to note is like this plastic here is a little sort of stiffer and drier and more like a, like a soft plastic. And then this plastic up here is a much softer thing. And I think that's what allows for the articulation. So, you know, it all kind of moves along with him. Um, and so this is more like a soft rubbery kind of thing. And then his arms are more stiff, like you would expect a regular black series figures, like arms and stuff to be almost like maybe similar to the Gamorrean guards arms or something, maybe a little more hollow feeling than that. And then those are connected in to the mouth. And so both arms move, um, and like you can ratchet them up into different positions and then even up in that position it'll still sort of articulate that mouth and then just looking inside the mouth um you know you can see his tongue is sculpted in there and there's a little bit of paint going on inside the mouth but looking good it's a great looking figure i'm really i'm i just was so kind of like eh, it just comes with nothing um you know it's a 40 dollar figure that really is just kind of a blob do I really want it? But I'm super happy that I have it now. And thank you to Clown Baby for sending this over to me. Um, so yeah, let me just uh, pull in a few other figures. And first off, we got to bring in a Gamorrean guard with him. So there's one standing right there looking pretty cool. And then I have Boosh. This was kind of an interesting one. Boosh, I found like way late. I found it at a Walgreens. 
in like 2017. Um, it was so random. It was just like, it's totally beat up, but it was still sealed. And then I have Chewy to go with Boosh. So just move that up a little bit there so you can see his head. And then I guess sort of behind or maybe off to the side, see 3PO right here. This is actually, so Chewbacca and 3PO, those are actually um, SH Figure Arts figures. So move Boosh to the back, Chewy back there. And then finally, um, just because one of my favorite scenes in the comics is when Vader meets up with Chaba um, and they he starts looking for Luke on Tatooine. That's like after A New Hope, you have some Vader Jabba scenes, which is really cool. And that's the model kit from Bandai. It just happens to have the Black Series cape and um, skirt on it, which is a great combination. I love this figure. So yeah, so there's a few other figures with it, and then we'll just look at some articulation. So, um, so like I said, the arms can ratchet up um, pretty much all the way up, and then he's got a single jointed elbow that will swing like this, and it will also rotate around. So, for you know, for a blob, he's got a decent amount of articulation, and then the hand also has a hinge, and then it rotates around as well. Um, and the other arm is pretty much the same articulation as that arm. And then the final piece of articulation is that his head can, you know, his upper body, I guess, can swivel all the way around. So pretty cool. Great figure. And now for the giveaway. So what I'm going to do is ask people what your favorite creature from the Star Wars universe is, whether that's a an alien or a creature or a beast or anything like that. What is your favorite alien creature weirdo from the Star Wars universe, from Jabba's palace, from Mos Eisley? What's your favorite creature? Let me know in the comments below. And to encourage you to follow me on Instagram, I'm also going to only announce the winner on my Instagram account. So it's a little crossover here. So comment on the YouTube video and pay attention to the Instagram, the door Claire for, to find out who the winner is. And then I'll ask the winner to contact me back over on, um, back over on YouTube. So just to get some cross following going on and encourage people to get over to the door Claire Instagram. And again, that's the door Claire. And in order to enter, all you need to do is Subscribers to this channel, just comment below. Let me know what your favorite creature or alien is. And just be on the lookout because I will announce the winner on the Dorklair Instagram account. Thanks for watching. And until next time, may the force be with you. Dorklair. Oh. <laughs>